Hello everyone! Our problem solving for today is about a spherical sector. Now, in this drawing, we will imagine that this is uh, like a ball. This, it looks like a circle, but we will imagine that this is a sphere. A sphere whose, who is a three-dimensional figure. Now, the so-called spherical sector is this one. The one cut here. This is the so-called spherical sector. And this is the one we are looking for. This, the volume of this one with this one as the height and this one as the radius of the sphere and of course this one from here to here between these two lines two radii this is the so called central angle so <clears throat> looking at the of course the front view this one will become straight so we, we will have a uh, triangle here we can form two triangles one triangle and another triangle anyway we will solve the problem regarding spherical sector a spherical sector is cut from a sphere whose radius is 14 centimeter find its volume if the central angle is 40 degrees so <clears throat> So we know that the sphere is a three-dimensional uh, figure. It looks like this ball. Now, when you say, when you say a spherical sector means this one. We cut this one. Like this one is cut. So this one cut here, this is we call it the spherical sector. This one we cut here and this one we call it, as I've said, the spherical sector. Now we're looking for the volume of this spherical sector. Now, of course, first we have to <coughs> state what is given. What is given here is the, the radius of the sphere which is equal to 14 centimeter. And the central angle, we will designate it as theta is equal to 40 degrees now what is required what is required here is the volume of the spherical sector we will see designate it as vs now of course to solve this one we have to make a sketch For example, we'll imagine this one that this is a sphere. This is not a circle, a sphere. So if this is the center of the sphere, and this is, we call it this one, the, the spherical sector. It's a combination of a cone and a, a spherical cup. So <clears throat> from here, if looking, if tilting down, it will look like this like this one so this is the spherical sector now of course we know that <clears throat> to solve the spherical the volume of the spherical sector we need to use the formula volume is equal to 2 third pi R squared H and uh, see this one this is like 
if you tilt like a fish, you tilt. So it will look like, for example, you look at the, on the front side, it will look like this. Straight and the spherical cup. So from here, this is the so-called central angle and it is given to be 40 degrees and the radius of course this is the radius this is also this is the radius of the sphere and <clears throat> this one from here to here This is a combination of, if you designate this one as from here to here, if we designate this as Y, this height from here to here, we designate as Y, and this one from here to here as the height, of course. What, uh, this one therefore is equal to y plus h or or h here is equal to r which is the radius minus the y this is the the height this one here but before we can solve the height of course, we will find first the value of y. Now, how we will do this? If we, if we will redraw this one here. This area. And of course, the central angle half of it is equal to 20. So this is 20 degrees. And this is the radius. And we designate this one, for example, as x. So, to find the x, we have to, or we designate this one here as y, x. So, to find y, we have to use the cosine function. Cosine of y, or cosine of, sorry, cosine of the angle which is equal to 20 degrees, is equal to the adjacent which is the y over the hypotenuse which is the r now r is given to be 14 and cosine of 20 degrees therefore we can solve y is equal to 14 cosine of 20 now therefore here because we have the value of y we can solve now h which is equal to the r which is the radius is 14 minus the y which is equal to 14 cosine of 20 degrees now to find the y we have to use the calculator You have to use the calculator so cosine of 40 deg cosine of 20 degrees multiply by 14 is equal to 13 so this is 14 minus 13.155 so subtract by 14 is equal to 
H therefore is equal to 8, 4, 4. This is rounded it off. Now, we solve the height which is equal to 0.844 centimeter. Now, we can solve the volume of the spherical sector. Now, using the formula, formula which is equal to two-third pi r squared h. Now, pi is always, pi in regions is always 3.14. So, two-thirds multiplied by 3.14 multiplied by the R, which is the radius, which is given to be 14, and squared, and the height, which is equal to 8.44. Therefore, Volume therefore is equal to three four six point two nine cubic centimeter or centimeter cube because the unit of measurement of the volume is in cube. So our answer for the volume of the spherical sector is the this one three 346.29 cubic centimeter.